photography fans and welcome to another episode about classic cameras and classic photo gear. In today's episode I want to show you guys and girls how to do some calculations when it comes to some lenses. A few years ago I built this big old large format camera out of some 2x4s and I, and I propped the lens on it. Now when it comes to certain lenses they, they don't have any markings on it. They don't have the aperture markings so you don't know what aperture that lens may be or they don't have a focal length marked on it either. This, this lens does, but I want to show you how to calculate an aperture and focal length of the lens very easily. All you need is a piece of paper, tape measure, something to write with, a calculator perhaps, unless you're really good at math, and you can do these calculations super easy. So, let me Get ready and I'll restart the camera and I'll show you how it's done. So, so the first thing we need to do is determine the focal length of, of the lens. And ideally this is done in, um, uh, in a room where you have a lot of natural light coming in. So you can, so the light that's hitting the lens is pretty bright. So uh, in this case I'm in a basement so what I did I put this super, uh, super bright 500 watt light right outside the room and I'm gonna to try to project the image on the wall right here somewhere and you'll see the, the the reflector being projected so here it is you can see the reflector being projected and what you do is you you can see the image gets blurry and sharp and blurry as you move the lens in and out away or closer to the subject and once you see the image is in sharp focus, you take your tape measure and you touch the, which in this case is a focal plane. Make sure your lens is in sharp focus. Just about here. And you take the measurement. The measurement in this case is 20 inches. So you mark that measurement on a piece of paper. Next thing that you need to do is you need to measure the diameter of the lens at its opening. I'm going to deter I'm going to try to determine the aperture at the lens wide open. So what I'm going to do is take my tape measure and measure the, not the outside lens, barrel of the lens, but the inner element, the, the actual glass. So that gives me roughly, roughly, yeah, that gives me 1.75 inches. So 20 and my wide open lens is at 1.75 inches. You can use millimeters, noodles, coal, sticks, fingers, anything. And now I'm using my 21st century device. So, 20 inches from the nodal point of the lens. Oh bloody hell, I forgot to mention what a nodal point of the lens is. The nodal point of the lens. The nodal point of the lens is a point in the lens at which the rays of light coming in from your subject or reflected of your subject converge into one single point. point. That area in the lens is usually located at the diaphragm or at the aperture. Some old lenses have apertures in front. So it's basically the, just the center, you would say, of the lens but normally this is located at the aperture. So when you measure the distance 
you measure from the subject or from the reflection or from the focal plane to the nodal point. In my case, the nodal point of the lens is right about here. It's about two thirds from the front of the lens. That's the nodal point. So once you have the focal length of the lens, and once you have the diameter of the lens, all you need to do is calculate it. So, given the fact that I suck at math, I'm going to use this nifty calculator built into my communication device. So I do 20 inches, and you have to use the same units. If you're using noodles, the length of the noodle, you have to use the same. You cannot use 20 inches divided by the, by the one-third of a noodle. It's not going to work. You have to use inches, inches, noodles, noodles, coal, coal, length of pens, length of pens, whatever the thickness of your eyebrows, whatever you want to do. The units have to be the same, obviously. So 20 inches divided by 1.75 equals 11.42857142626. Oh, what the hell? You just look at the first number, number 11. So this divided by that is roughly 11. Even the back is 11.4, you, you just, um, just, it just do 11, so 11. So that means this lens is aperture, is f11 wide, wide open. But no, is it? I know it is, because it's marked on it. Now, where is this useful? It's useful if you want to calculate the lens that doesn't have any markings on it or in case of these old Kodak box cameras you have your lens you have your focal plane, plane but the apertures are not marked on these damn things so what you want to do is what I do because it's helpful for me to know which aperture I'm shooting usually these things have uh, about two Aperture settings. Let's see. Okay, one. This. Wow. This one's. This is advanced. Okay, this one has three. So focal length. In this case, you don't have to calculate the focal length of the lens because you already know it. Well, how do you know it? Well, you know it because this thing was built so that it focuses at certain predetermined distance. And in this case is. This is where the film goes. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fix it first. Come on, off you go. All right, so what I'm gonna do is measure the focal length of the lens. I wanna find the nodal point of the lens. So in this case is, yeah. in this case is, this lens doesn't really have, well it does have an aperture, but it's right in front of the lens. So I'm going to calculate from roughly the middle of the lens. So, right about here, the middle of the lens. And the focal plane comes out to be 5.25. So 5.25 inches. So I know that. Now I need to determine the lens at its opening that I want to use. So I'm going to use it at wide open first. So I'm going to take my tape measure and then measure the, the diameter of the opening. In this case is 3 eighths of an inch. So 3 eighths of an inch is 0 0.375. So I have that. Let's calculate it using this communication device. 5.25 inches divided by 0.375. That gives me aperture of f14, which I kind of round up, round up to f16. So f16. This is about correct. If you will go out and shoot this at f16, yes, it's going to work. So now let's determine the narrower aperture. Ah, oh, this one is one eighth of an inch, roughly. So one eighth of an inch equals. 
1.125. So let's calculate it. We already know the focal plane of the lens, or focal length of the lens. So we're going to calculate 5.25 divided by 0.125. That gives us aperture of f40, which I would probably guess at f32. So I would say that given the fact that this camera has three apertures, I would, I would determine, and it might be off by half a stop, but I'll calculate f16 and wide open f22. This is very simple, sometimes useful, sometimes may not be useful. If you find this useful, give me thumbs up. If you didn't find this useful, also give me thumbs up because I need them. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you now know how to calculate the focal length of the lens and the aperture of the lens as well. Very easy, very simple, no fuss. Stay tuned for more videos. Subscribe. There are more videos coming. You can see I started uh, digging out my collection from the bags. So I started putting it here, arranging nicely. Now I got Soviets and Germans and some Japs. I'm going to try to build like a shelving unit here. Maybe put more up. Anyways, stay tuned. Keep shooting film. Keep the film alive.